there's kind of three words that I would describe worldly excellence as. We have uh, perfectionism, uh, achievement-driven, and competitive. So in, in the world, what happens often is when we're striving for excellence, it, it turns into these three things. It turns into perfectionism. Um, it's trying to be perfect in everything that we do. Um, it turns into achievement-driven. We're, we're, we're trying to seek um, getting things done um, and getting applause for what we do. And then you have competition. Obviously, competition is uh, destructive within the church. But in the world, competition is what drives a lot of our excellence. Is we want to be the best product. You know, Apple's always wanting to pursue excellence because they want to be the best product. They want you to buy their product. Um, and so they get very competitive with their excellence. In the church, kind of the dangers we run into with allowing worldly excellence to, to, to seek in and, and soak into what we're doing in our ministries is uh, perfectionism, for example, is, it's just incredibly unhealthy. And what it leads towards is towards performance and away from honesty. Um, I know this is something I struggle with. I'm a persister. I want things done right. And I want them done the way that I would want to do them. And so it can really, really drive me to get something done rather than ask the question, why am I working on this? What is this trying to accomplish? Uh, Achievement-driven ministry leads to greediness, uh, and then it leads to the pursuit of applause and approval from our pastors and our peers and our congregations. And then competitive ministry, it's just exhausting. Um, If you've ever been in in a competitive world, you're you're always one step behind that other church or that other ministry, and it's just exhausting, and it just leads towards jealousy and pride. And so worldly excellence um, is, is one of those things that it, it has seeped into our church, um, not our, maybe, maybe not our church specifically, but our churches, uh, especially in America. Um, you think about it, you know, with excellence, it's, it's when you get really, really angry at your sound guy for messing up again on that Sunday, or your guitarist or whoever, for messing up their line. There's nothing wrong with you being frustrated with someone messing up, right? But when it turns to anger, it's because you're pursuing perfectionism in that excellence. Um, achievement-driven, when you're, when you're trying to seek applause from your congregation, and then when you don't get it, when you don't get praise for that new song you introduced or that new song you wrote, and no one comes in and says, man, I really, really like that song. Um, if we're achievement-driven in our excellence, then we're going to be really, really let down when we don't get that praise. And then, like I said, com- the competitive idea is we're just going to be judging other churches and wish we had what they had, or we're going to think that our church or our ministry is the best, and we're get really, really prideful and forget um, that what we have is all a blessing from, from God. 